Okay, Vinland Saga chapter 66 to 70. Budding. Yeah, they, um, pen, um, Thorfinn and Einar has finally, I guess, has made progress with what they're trying to do. Um, it's because, I guess the old, the, the, I guess horses really do, um, yeah, I guess it's, it, it makes their, it, it had made, it has made their work easier and much efficient and much quicker. And yeah, I guess the, because of that, now they're in the process of just, um, uh, just taking care of the crops because they've, they've already been able to plant the, the, the seeds and they were able to till the land and yeah i guess all that's left is to harvest eventually if they be they'll be able to take care of it and i think the good thing is that einar uh i guess einar seems like he knows his he has experience with farming so because uh um thorfinn yeah he never really had any kind of that experience his experience is more like war and he, i guess even even though if he didn't i think even though if he would di, did not participate in war i think in iceland um i think i guess they would still probably be able to plant crops during probably a different season but I, i'm still not sure whether, whether or not um it's always winter in iceland but yeah uh yeah it's 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 really nice that they've met the the old master that i thought it is another old this another slave that who was able to pay for his freedom because of all the work that he has done but it happens to be like it's it's the old master and then we also met snake so i'm also really curious about snake because it seems like i don't know maybe because i guess the 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 kinship of 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 uh, snake and the uh, old master it seems like they're more like the real father and son dynamic more than uh ketil because i don't know maybe, maybe maybe i guess my my suspicion is that maybe snake is like the younger son of the old master so i guess we'll see but um so here we see um the handmaid of of ketil i forgot her name the one that uh, Einar is so in love, <laughs> man. I, I hope that I I think in this in this in this pos in this in the in the in his situation it's possible that they could be able to be um as he he could be at least be with her. I guess, but the I guess, but the thing is, she's still also slaves slaves. So I guess Einar have to work twice as hard so that. Maybe I guess she could she could have been a around for for a long time as well, and she's been also prop definitely saving up to be able to pay for her own freedom as well. I think that's the best thing about um Ketil, and I guess it's maybe it's just just Ketil. Maybe it's it's like uh something he learned from his father from uh from the old masters that they treat slaves differently in the, in in uh in. I guess in then I guess not really in Denmark, but in just their their own uh, family. So and we also learned some kind of political uh, protection that they're they also trying to um, that they have by, by supporting. I guess by giving bribes or yeah, kind kind of to um, Harald um, Kanut's brother. Two of them. Oh, not again. Same ones. I'd say so. The footprints are similar. Thieves. Great. It just had to be the to be while the master's gone. Gone. What's the what's the damage? A sack of flour and some dried meat. No good snake. The tracks got mixed with other footsteps on the road. You can't follow him. All right. It's too dark anyway. They don't take much each time but they're certainly having their way with us maybe they don't think we don't we don't know this well i feel insulted oh well then it's time some it's time someone was punished cattle's farm southern southern denmark november 10 15. morning <laughs> man when sleeping in this haystack would definitely be so itchy 
Because <laughs> I've I've been able to experience. I guess it's not. I, I guess it's still also somewhat similar. Because I guess it's wheat. Um, but yeah, I've been able to, uh, to be able to lay down in a rice in a rice field that has like something like similar haystack. It's very itchy. <laughs> I don't know about. I I feel like it's the same thing. It might be. But I guess it's it's still it's still kind of soft laying uh laying on it. But the thing is, it's very itchy. Because <laughs> I think it's like the the ones that. Because once you pull out the the rice, I guess yeah, then you you somewhat like, uh the the farmers tend to just pile it up some somewhere. I guess with 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 wheat, it's like for hay. I guess it's for. Uh, I think they also use it for, for feeding horses or stuff. I'm not sure, but yeah. Why? That's splendid. The old master must truly like you. You think so? It must be so. Not only does he lend you his tools and horse, but he lets you eat at his table, yeah. Yes, but only in exchange for labor. We do all of the hard work around the old master's house. But we're slaves, see? We norm normally we don't get anything in exchange yeah, for our work. I suppose that makes sense now you don't, now that you mention it. Yes, exactly. Splash. But why does he like us? <laughs> because you're such a nice person, Einar. You just don't realize it. Uh, <laughs> Man. I hope at least Einar have a happy ending. But yeah, I, I guess I'm kind, still kind of worried about. I guess in their situation, especially I guess with the treatment of slaves. Um, but I guess the old man, what's his name? Pat. F forget his name. The 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 slave who was able to. Bought himself. But yeah, I, that's all I. Uh, that's all I hope for. <laughs> um, for. Uh, for uh for Erna. and uh, so far this this uh i guess this manga has shown how cruel this world is but i think this they've also shown that there are also some parts that like in the in in thor's village in iceland that they they were able to live peacefully without any kind of uh, trouble I, I guess and up until floki decided to mess things up yeah Man, I and I, I also for, I also forgot about that. Um, I I'm not sure if if uh, if uh, Thorfinn knew that that it was Floki who set up, um, who set up Thor's to be killed by, to be ambushed by, um, by Askeladd. So I, I'm 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 really curious about that. I'm not. I don't think they've they've uh, dealt. I think they. I don't think they've focused on that in the anime, and I think even even before in the previous ones that, yeah. If if uh if if Thorfinn really had anyone to pin on his revenge, it's not Askeladd. It's it's Floki, and I'm kind of <laughs> kind of infuriating infuriated a little that Floki is still there with Canute. Uh, because I I don't think he he needed I don't think he needed to find Thor's in Iceland and recruit him as like part of the of the Yom's Vikings or if anything he wasn't Thor's wasn't supposed to be killed or be ambushed at that at that moment it feels like just bad blood between Floki and uh, and Thor's. And I guess that's one of the infuriating thing about is that Floki is still, is still, uh, is still able <laughs> to walk in, uh, in peace. And I don't know. I guess I, I'm not sure if they'll ever, ever go back to, with that. But I guess at the, at the same time, um, I I think the 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 point of uh, I guess a story with, uh, with the revenge of uh, Thorfinn is that it 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 really drag him down. To the point that he has lost uh his his sense of purpose in life and he has 
spent so much time focusing on that. So I guess if they're going back, I guess it's going to be a regression if they're going back to that moment where. Uh, but I, I don't know. Maybe he. I feel like he'll be. He. He has at this point in in this farm, in this in him being a slave and being with Aenar. I think this will give him more maturity, and I think it it already has done a lot of things. It has already changed a lot of his perspective that I think uh, maybe he would still somewhat have kind of an angst towards Floki. But I don't know. Maybe if it just happens to be... I guess if he ever had an opportunity, maybe he'd do it. But I don't know. I hope that he won't go the same route again <laughs> where he'll just keep on hunting Floki then. So I guess that's the other issue if they've if that ever if that changed so yeah and i guess i kind of like this more i guess more different kind of oriented uh um uh, thorfinn because i think that's what also his wa father would wanted not him chasing for all the people who has some kind of um issues with his father because <laughs> yeah i think his father has been able to accept it on his own and deal with it in his own way in his own honorable way in his own warrior way so huh ah, okay was he being considerate he's a nice person too you know just doesn't talk much <laughs> yes ironhide oh yeah ironhide ah oh no that's the missus i'm sorry i didn't mean to hold up not at all. I'm happy to have someone to talk to each morning. Oh, I'll see you again. <laughs> sure, tomorrow morning. <laughs> I hope it's for Einar. <laughs> I get. I, I I hope I hope she's uh she's got she's she I guess she she's shown um that she's somewhat uh I guess um seen Einar as a good a nice person. So hopefully, Einar has a chance. Because I'm worried that it might go the other way around where um, she's because that she's she's always there because she's looking forward to meet um, uh, Thorfinn. But I guess Thorfinn would still be a little bit younger. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm still not sure how old Thorfinn uh, up to this point. She said I'm nice. Yahoo. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Smack. Haven't even prepared breakfast and you're, you're already loitering around. We aren't, well, we aren't we haughty. I'm sorry, missus. We're not keeping you on a whim, girl. You work for your meals. My husband will return from the thing today. Oh, the, I thought the missus is dead. She's still, still alive. He might bring, he might be bringing guests, gets, guests with him. I expect you to prepare for the possibility. Yes, missus. Ooh. Hmm. Under the circumstances, your slaves would suit each other. Because <laughs> he's just loitering. <laughs> Don't just stand there into the kitchen and start cooking. Yes, missus. Ooh, who might be the guest? Or the guests? Who will be the guests? Oh, maybe it, it might be Harald. I guess if, I don't think they've shown Harald before. So maybe maybe they this is the first time we're going to meet Harald. Ha huh, here, but I I guess I'm not sure if 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 a king would take his time to visit a, a wheat field. I guess if it's it's uh it's a, I guess if it's a generous sponsor, <laughs> so I guess he might. These are buds of wheat thorfin. Damn! Oh, I just realized. Yeah, <laughs> man, the work that they've done, and I think they've did they've did they've done this for years now. Because I think times pass quickly. Because especially with the amount of trees that they have to cut down, then they have to plug out the the trunks of the trees. That's definitely taken them a lot of time, or maybe it's just months. I I'm I'm not sure. They seem weak. Is it normally like this? Yes. Yep. This is normal. All's well. About four or five four or five seeds are budding. I guess. Well, I'm feeling inspired. Let's clear. Oh, yeah. They, they, I guess they still have other trees to clear off. So I guess it's. It's. I think it's. It's. It's much better that way. So while they're trying to clear the other trees, the crops are starting to grow. 
So yeah, I guess it's 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 at least they they're still they're already earning some money when when the crop starts to grow, even though they're still uh, clearing up the forest. Because man, I th I think yeah, it 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 would definitely take them uh, years or maybe a year to clear out that forest. Let's keep clearing space so we can plant twice as many next year. That's so strange that these will turn into bread. Amazing, isn't it? Kind of moving, actually. Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah, man. Yeah, I guess he looks more mature here. So maybe he's around 20s now. Yeah, maybe time has passed really... Maybe a, a, lo a long time after the events in... Uh, with King Swain's death, it's our first step toward freedom. And we'll raise them, sell them, raise them, sell them. And in time, we'll buy our lives back. No matter how many years it takes. Hey, Thorfinn, I know we've got the ability to buy our freedom by raising our own crops. But what about Arnheide? What's her situation? Yeah. I don't know. Why don't you ask her tomorrow morning? <laughs> I wonder if it's okay to ask. What should we do with this? Hmm. Oh, the wheat. Yeah, I think. I guess if if the if the handmaid is slave of the of the missus, I guess it would be a different situation if the missus doesn't want the slaves to buy her own out her own freed, freedom. Because I guess it's it seems like it's only Ketil who's been. Yeah, I guess they're they're all I guess they're all all cattle slave probably. If if that's the case, I think it's it might be the same. But I guess it depends on how much they were bought. For. So that's 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 going to be the issue. If they've been bought for a higher higher price than the others, yeah, it would take them a lot more money to be able to buy themselves off. You won't have anything to do for a while, if you can believe it. I see. If we can keep felling trees, then... And so, let us pray. <laughs> Man, I love it. <laughs> I love that. Look, he looks so peaceful. He looks so calm here. He looks so composed. And <laughs> And so let us pray. <laughs> oh dear <God. laughs> And <then laughs> he's split he's like he's pleading for his life here. Bless these scrubs and I guess this is this I guess this is the the the, the way that they, they pray <laughs> in northern uh, England. Bless these crops and let them grow. <laughs> <Man. laughs> Look at Thorfinn's face, he was so surprised. <laughs> It's like a change of person sudden it's like a sudden change of personality. Keep the past and mold away. I guess it's it's really desperate. Let the rain be plentiful. You too. What? Pray to what? Whatever works, <laughs> Yahweh. Pray yeah, whatever whomever you want, but everyone prays. Much of the success or or failure of, of a crops of a crop depends on God. We have no offerings, so all we can give <laughs> I think since that's why his enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. I right, let them grow tall. <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay, let them grow tall. Cut your, th cut through, <laughs> cut through your meekness. Stop stopping halfway is the most shameful of all. Okay, <laughs> keep the pest. Oh, there's a deer. They could hunt that. They keep the pests and mold away. Let the rain be plentiful. Damn. Ho ho. This is Harald. This old place hasn't changed. Right? How is mom doing dad in Olmer? Ooh, dad. It definitely looks a Viking, but Olmar. Feel like I've heard the name Olmar. 
Oh, is he like the the young, the older, older son? Well, Almar's bursting at the seams. I don't know what to do with him. He's itching to go off to war, just like you did. Oh, is this Kettle? Oh yeah, I, I think I guess this is Kettle and and this is probably the oldest son, the eldest son, and maybe he went to war as a Viking. That's why the the Kettle. I guess the that's why the other son is like the only one who's like possible inheritor of the farm. Well, Olmar's bursting at the same time. No matter the move. yeah, he's issue. I think I think Olmar is the 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 other son i thought he was an only child or something the haha he hasn't changed since he was a little squirt then never had the guts to go through with it every man has his strengths and weaknesses torgil torgil he is not bent for the battlefield it's best that a man finds himself where he is most suited you never know though sometimes the battlefield can change a man like king canoe Ooh, king no one in the army calls him prince anymore. He was a soft boy once, but this war cha has changed him greatly. Now he is the bold and, a de and daring hero. So I guess this is what I'm kind of confused about. So I guess Kettle's son recognizes Kanut as king, but weren't uh, Kettle supporting Harald, King Harald? So that's what I guess that's what I'm somewhat confused about is um I guess I guess probably the what I I guess from my understanding is that Canute is the king of England now and Harald might be the king of Denmark maybe Why not give Olmar a taste of battle dad he might come back as more of a man that's not funny. I'd be sending my heir to the to certain death. He's not fit to f he's not fit to fight a war. Hmm. Snake. Oh, perfect timing, master. Hmm. Is that Thorgil with you? I've got back five or six days ago. Met dad at the thing and decided to come back and see him. Oh. Still haven't decided yet. We can't just get rid of you. <laughs> Oh, thanks to your lesson, snakes. Ha, huh, more like thanks to the miserable English, right? Snake, what's you? What's that you've got there? Oh, them, they're, they're, they've, they're suspected of thievery. I'm hauling them in, in, in to, no, I'm hauling them in to hand over to you. We've had a series of burglaries conducted in a similar fashion. My get, my gut tells me it was them. Damn, kids. Child or not, a thief is a thief. I'll ask you to discipline them, master. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love that. At least he's. I, oh, is this? This is this is probably kettle. Man, I hope kettle. I feel like kettle might hopefully spare them. Yeah, because these are just kids who's so probably was nothing to eat for anything to eat, but. I guess you could punish them by making them at least work. But I guess it's still kids though. My hands hurt, Thor. What's going to happen to us? Are we going to die? Kinda reminds me of <laughs> Thorfinn. You'll be fine. I'm here with you. Ha 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 ha. Here's what it comes down to. They call a bunch of warriors an army, but you know what? When you get down to it, a warrior doesn't give a shit about friend or foe. Sure, you stick with the, with the men of your clan, but there's nothing stronger than that. Once the battle begins, each man clans, each clan's men go after their target. Others be damned. It's a competition of ferocity. I'm the fiercest man in the North Sea. We all say. After the battle comes the fun part, the plunder. Here come here. Here the fastest win. 
once you've found the most valuable women to sell, you've got to cut down your so-called allies. Power is the only justice. What do you think, Olmar? Still want to go to England? Y you bet I do, brother. <laughs> I know strength is all that matters. In that case, I've got a souvenir for you. Give me the necklace. Oh, is that ears? Oh, man. Ears of his victims. I guess of his... Uh, of his... Uh, yeah. It's like uh, an ear... Oh, man. It's kind of messed up that they're... I guess... I guess they've done that uh, in three series where some soldiers uses their... I guess their victim... I guess the, the one that they've killed part their body parts as like a trophy trophy it's kind of it's kind of messed up that you do it that <laughs> what is this jerky can i eat it sure if you want to but they're just decorations those are english ears Hop. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're such a pussy can't handle a few ears we're the sons of iron fist cattle grow some balls who iron fist Iron Fist. You don't know the legends from Dad's youth. Once the battle started, his monstrous tank would shatter his own weapon in a flash. He spent the rest of the time barehanded and still killed more men than any other. Oh man, I wouldn't be surprised if Ketel knew Thor's. <laughs> man, because I feel like I feel like the same vibe from Ketel as Thor's. Man, yeah, I think I think almost every Viking, especially from Denmark, I think knew who Thor's is because I think Thor's is such such a be such a legend that I think everyone would recognize him. Because even even Thorkel, even that monster, Thorkel <laughs> considers Thor's to be the strongest warrior. Think about that. <laughs> Thorkel was like, he's possibly stronger than a bear, stronger than, uh, yeah, stronger than a bear. <laughs> Considers Thor to be stronger than him. So just imagine that. I guess even in this prime, really, that did, did that? Man, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he knew Thor. Take talk with the old hands, and you'll hear many tales about. Old Iron Fist. You ought to more, have more respect for your old man. Thorgil, go inside and get some rest. You must be tired from the trip. Are we done eating then? Pardon my insistence, master, but shall we clear up the matter, this matter before you take her leave? Mm, very well then. What are your names? Come on, your names. The master is asking a question. Enough of that. They're too frightened to speak and you're not helping. Stor and my sister Thora, I see. Good. Stor and Thora, is there anyone who will plead in your defense? They have a mother with a suckling babe. The woman, damn, the woman is ill and, be, and bedridden, so I didn't bring her. Couldn't find a father. What's your father's name? Is he alive and well? Dad's name is Nori. He went out to sell crops last fall and never came back, sir. Might your grandfather's name be Bo? Yes, that's Nori, son of Bo. He owes you a debt for his landmaster. Damn, and ah, that's Nora. No wonder I haven't seen him recently. He must be dead. It's already been a year. He's not coming back. Must have met brigands on the road, been killed. No, that's not dead. He's just on the road. He'll be back. When a family loses its breadwinner, the others are often taken by a nearby family as farmhands. But these children are young and have a sickly mother and baby to support. No one will take them all. Oh man, I love Ketel. <laughs> I guess so far he's one, he's the most humane. I guess so far in this second part, he's the one of the most humane person we've met. In the Viking world, because yeah, because <laughs> remember, I remember how Askela described them. They they're like monsters. <laughs> they don't care about uh about like morality. It's like there is they're more like for, for prestige, 
for honor of killing. Man. What's wrong, dear? Keep questioning them. Uh, I just got something in my eye. Damn. I love Kettle. I hope... I mean, I'm wor but I'm worried for Kettle because... Especially his connection with Harald and with do the way Kanut is acting right now. So what have these children stolen? Stolen. They are charged with many counts, but they have at least confessed to stealing a sack of flour. Me and my men are, are with us. I think it's yeah, a sack of flour, and for these hungry children, and especially with, especially with the the amount of wheat that been able to, to harvest. I think it's just like a drop in, <laughs> in a bucket. So we didn't threaten them into saying it. I wouldn't force anyone in to do that. Oh my. <laughs> Might have used a little trickery though. Man, it's like they had the sack of flour hidden in their house. I told them the master's flour has his name written on the bottom. <laughs> Just a little white lie. This is for your own good. The, I'll wait for you to speak up until this entire sack is empty. Be honest. And your punishment will reflect, reflect your truthfulness. Well, you might as well have coerced them. Oh, no, no, not at all. If they hadn't done it, they wouldn't have confessed, would they? So we know they did it. That makes it simple. One arm. That's the punishment for stealing. My sister too young, have mercy. Oh, then you'll have to suffer, suffer her punishment. That's two arms. Damn. Yikes. Stir. Um, well, after what I promised them, I'd prefer to go easy on the sentence. Well, that's that. Cut and dry, right, Dad? It terrifies me. How can this be my son? Yeah. I think maybe he wasn't like this before. I think because... Yeah, I think it's... it's I think it's the the culture the <laughs> of being w with the Vikings is it definitely change change them a lot because especially we look at canute look at look at thorfinn i guess thorfinn i guess Thor, i guess the good thing with thorfinn is that even though he became part of the vikings he never become like a viking and he's like he's a warrior of his own way he has his own goals he never he never he never his his motivation was never the same as the vikings where it's pillaging, it's the women, it's the food, it's the it's the it's the treasure, it's the it's the glory. It's never that. It's 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 his he has his own goal of pursuing revenge towards Askelad. And it's it's in an honorable honorable way as as, as well. So I think it's this it still depends on the person whether or not you'd be affected by the the environment of war or the environment of Vikings. Why did you have to steal from me? Now you have forced me to punish you for it. I am against it. Ooh. Patel. This punishment might as well be a death sentence. It was too heavy. Too heavy for the crime. Pater. I mean Pater. Patel. Might I elaborate on my reasoning, Master? Ah. Uh, I. Man. It seems like Kettle Ket is only... <laughs> like he's like the only person that he 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 would definitely confide with with, with would be um his partner because I guess he's the one who really I guess has po possibly like a, a real kind of sympathy or some kind of humane or morality similar as Kettle. I I guess especially as well as he he was he was a slave. I I I speak your mind, Pater. Hmm. As the proprietor of this farm, I believe it would be unwise to deliver a heavy punishment to a child. If both his arms are sever sever severed, he is entirely useless to us. Yeah. How old are you, Stuart? 12. Good. That's around the age you can start doing an adult's work. Yeah, I think that's 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 what I was thinking. That maybe at least make them work for what they steal. And at the same time, it would also probably give them an opportunity to help them in, in their own way. But yeah, but I was what what I was thinking is that I guess it's still kind of young. But I guess during that time, um, it doesn't matter how young you are if you could work if you could do the work. We ought to recover the loss of the theft and their father's death. Let us make the children work for it. Work it off. I I propose that we take in these children and their mother as farmhands. I I I see. 
they can live in their home as they have been doing. Let them work the land and that you lent to their father, Snorri. I will teach Thor how to work the fields. If we can raise him into a fully fledged worker, he will be worth what we have lost. And we, we and he will no longer have a reason to steal. The problem is solved. Yeah. And the, it's it because it would it would benefit I guess it would be beneficial to Kettle as well. I I agree entirely. We must recoup our clauses and so for those reasons I believe a beating with a stick should su suffice for punishment. Huh? Hmm, I guess your reasons are sound. No 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 no. They are going to pay back what they sold through hard work. Clearly, they will be punished in the form of theft. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, Pater. I think, did Pater said that? I guess it's, I guess if it's like something like a light, a light beating and maybe just one beating, I guess just to, just to make a reminder, it's, it's bad to steal. But I don't know about a Viking or a warrior beating a kid. And it's more, and I, I'm, I'm really worried that it's not just one beating. It, it would be like, it would be like a beating of multiple sorts. <laughs> and how would he be able to work after that? No, 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 they're going to pay what I thought. Yeah, man. We can't let them off, get off. We can't let them get off without any kind of proper scolding. If we cr if we don't crack some knuckles, then when we should thieves thieves will storm all over us. But they're kids, though, and those with sticky fingers will be shunned wherever they go. They must be disciplined for their own sake. So how many? How many? <laughs> with that stick and with <laughs> ah man, f f ten, ten each. The boy goes first first. Grit your teeth. It's sore. 20. Hit me the full 20. Yeah. Stay back. Leave my sister. Don't hurt her, please. Oh, man. Oh, I like it. He's got cuts. Let me do it, Dad. You sure you don't know how to hold back? I guess a good thing is that at least maybe Snake will hold back. Oh, I guess at, at, I guess that's, that I can see the point where, uh, where Snake com is coming from, but... Uh, I guess I, I was a little worried that he might go full force, but I'm worried now because because definitely Thorgil we wouldn't hesitate. I feel like, yeah, especially with him with the, how he's acting, I feel like he's, he's he has guns at the stick that he might try to ki even kill like even kill the kid or just uh, make him knocked out or something or like par paralyzed. Don't kill him. Yeah, yeah, nice and easy, and not on the head. You'll kill him. Sure, sure, okay, okay. Real quick and light. Here we go, kid. Yeah, man, I knew it. That's one. Wait, no, Thorgil, give it to me. I'll do it. Store. Ah. Man. Man. And I love Kettle. Where's dad? He went to be, be to bed already with grief. Iron Fist Kettle, a doddering old man. Yeah, he really, really, really reminds me of uh of Thor's. And I think what the what what there's uh what Thorgil is saying about the Iron Iron Fist, I think it's true. I think he I think he was he was really a beast. And I think um. And I think he didn't like that. The same way as Thor's did. I think uh I think once they've finally started to have a family, they've somewhat changed a lot. <laughs> so yeah, because I think I think Thor's was something something like more like a Viking before. Uh before um was it Helga, the the young the oldest his oldest daughter was born. I think that changed <laughs> changed him and I guess even his wife was more become more uh more i guess scarier <laughs> after that so yeah so yeah i think i think Kettle is definitely a beast he was a beast it's just that 
he definitely has changed and for the better and i think i think uh, that's what what um thor's i think what kettle now is what thor's wanted to have for for the village for his place is that yeah to be able to fi find a, a land a farmland and maybe i think i think i realize now why kettle is um purchasing slaves i think it's not just for the purpose of for tilling the land i think it's i think it's his own way of trying to help little by little by by giving these slaves an opportunity to free themselves so i think i think that's what he's doing because i think uh uh thorf i guess i guess thorf would still need help because he doesn't have any idea in farming but yeah man Man, another great character, but I, <laughs> I hope they don't kill him. <laughs> Man, because they always kill the best ones, except I guess the, the only ones that are living is Canute and Thorkel. The ones that are really, I guess Thorfinn as well. That are really, I guess we also have Leif. So I guess we still have others. But yeah, I'm worried for for, for Ketil. And uh, yeah, where's that? He went to bed already. Good grief. Iron Fist, Ketil, a doddering old man. Man, look at the kid. It's all a lie. I have no iron fist. A Norseman cannot survive as a coward. Everyone demands for a city of me. There can be no other other way. Ooh. Ha, none of them ever expect that a so-called warrior like me would be such a liar. I am terrified of my own son, of my son, Thorgil of War. I am terrified of violence. It cannot be a bad thing to be gentle and kind. Your Ironhide knows your pain. You're the only one who would tell me that. You're the only one to whom I can tell everything. Stay with me. Without you, the world is darkness. Oh. <laughs> I think, man, I feel bad for Erinar now. I think he might... I think I think Ironhide might not have the same... I guess especially with, I guess, how, how much... Um, how much Ketil probably values her? Maybe not just like as a slave, but also probably like as a as like his comforter as well. So yeah, <laughs> I don't think Einar will be able to. I guess I don't think even her have the option of buying her own freedom, or maybe she has, and maybe also she she likes being a part of being uh, kettle's handmaid so i guess there's also that so if anything i guess i guess that's why she's that's it, it makes sense now yeah why the missus somewhat treated treats her like that because uh, yeah it's, she's de <laughs> she's definitely like uh definitely especially i guess with um I guess I guess with the hands made of of being of kettle, she's definitely she definitely knows that she's sleeping with her and like she's she's like a mistress considered to be like a mistress, but she also I guess a slave, an empty man, half 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 half, so close just a bit further half 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 half. Shit, I don't know why I'm doing this, but there's one thing I do know of you. If I fall, it's over. If I fall down there. Gah. Oh, who's this? Let go. Please let me go. I'm sorry. Oh, is this Thorfinn? Thorfinn's dream? Oh, it is. Ah. So that was his dream. He's falling on a cliff. Oh, what? I wonder what that means. Morning, Thorfinn. You were tell you were yelling in your sleep even louder than usual. I dreamt I was falling off a cliff. Oh, rem you remember it this time a bit. Actually, you were screaming something like Askelad <laughs> and Father Askelad, man. Askelad is that someone's name? Huh? Why do I forget nearly everything about my dreams? I only know that they're terrifying nightmares. Man, this is the first time we're hearing Thorfinn's perspective. I guess his mindset. We'd never really, I guess, had this kind of internal 
monologue or internal process of uh, Thorfinn so far. And I feel that somehow along with the dreams themselves, I'm forgetting something very important. It's like a fishbone caught in my throat. It's terrifying. I want to forget, but it's very, it's very important. Something I have to remember. What it is, your family back home, your mother, your sister. Man, I hope that when they, I hope Einar could, he could take, I guess, I don't know, but Einar might want to stay here, especially with the opportunity of being able to have his own farmland. And I guess also with, uh, with, uh, Ironhide, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I think Ironhide will be a difficult uh I guess I, I guess unless Ironhide might also like I think I guess I think Ironhide might also like Amar, but I guess because she's an had handmaid of Kettle, personal handmaid of Ket Kettle, it I think it would be difficult for her to leave. Even though she might have like um she might have also the opportunity of buying her own freedom so because i i don't know i feel like uh if anything i guess with i guess with what they've shown from the previous chapter is that i think kettle might want to keep her around a lot especially with what he's saying that it's, it's only you who understand me i feel like he's somewhat somewhat mess in love with her so i don't know if he'll be able to let go of her so that's what I'm worried about. So, but yeah, I think she's, but definitely she has, I feel like she's just doing her job as a slave, taking care of Kettle. But I feel like she might really have an interest towards Einar. Look at the size of the heads on this wheat already. The fresh soil must be good. Those slaves do better work than I expected. Actually, it's all Einar. They suddenly started making progress when he came. Dra. The threes are lighter in winter. Oh, probably that's. I don't remember if um Kettle asked um Einar if he is able to farm. If he has knowledge with farming, maybe that's the reason why he bought Einar. Maybe I just forgot about that. Yes, the water's dried out of them. The master's gone mad, if you ask me. Fieldwork is the calling of a proper man. How can he leave it to a pair of slaves? Hmm, I suppose you may be right. Of course, this is a bad example to set. Whatever the master says, it's, or it's against the order of things for slaves to be treated the same as free working men. Ain't that right? Askelad is the name. Oh, he told. Man, I'm surprised he told um Einar. Man, man, that's progress. Askelad is the name of the man who killed my father. Because I think he never had anyone who'd be able. He has been able to talk with, share his, I like, guess, share his stories, share his his frustrations, his experiences. I, I guess that's why. Yeah, I guess he never really had a friend. So, Einar is really his first friend. He was a Danish soldier. Very strong and cruel. I'll toss it up to you. Ah, ready. Damn! <laughs> I'm so happy for Thorfinn that he has finally found someone who could... He could tell something about him. And and I guess, he, yeah, I, I'm surprised he was able to, to say it or just talk about it. I guess maybe it's shown that, yeah, he is somewhat slowly moved on from it. I don't know. I think, but it's I think it's it's a step towards moving on, being able to to grow out of it, and I guess acceptance as well. And he showed up in your dream. I don't actually know. I only remember crawling from the cliff. I followed Askelad into battle. In order to avenge my father, I fought for ten. 11 years I hated him enough to kill him and then did you get your vengeance no someone else killed Askelad right in front of me I see toss me the next shift Thorfinn all right well I might not know any of the details but I feel as though I've discovered the reason for your lack of energy 
It's because you lost your, your purpose to avenge your father, right? If you're having dreams about it, it, it must mean your heart has, hasn't fully dealt with it yet. Yes, I see. Perhaps you're right, but but what? That's not all. There's something else. Something more important I'm forgetting. Something very important. Yeah. <laughs> How could you forget about your family? <laughs> I could just tell you to get over it, but I I know it's not that simple. But still, your quest is over, isn't it? Nothing can come from hating the dead. You just have to forget. Stay away, Thorfinn. Yeah, man. And Askeladd could have just... He couldn't... He couldn't... He couldn't... He could just... He shouldn't have said that. But he did. Because he wanted... He doesn't want Thorfinn to get involved with what he has done. He doesn't want Thorfinn to be dragged along with, with his sacrifice. Be a true warrior, son of Thor's. And he wouldn't say that if he never cared for Thorfinn. I guess that's what's what's hurt what hurts the most for me <laughs> during that moment is I think I think I think that moment Thorfinn I think it's a small chance that he has he has seen some kind of father like traits from from Askeladd. And I guess it's I think that's one of the the reason is kind of painful for me because i feel like he has lost another father-like figure that he has been following around even though he hates him so much so man as that 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 moment really really hit me <laughs> hit me hard uh with with askelad i don't hate him anymore that's what makes this oh oh, oh. Wait, I, I think i missed that i don't hate him anymore that's what makes this so hard to deal with. Oh, <laughs> man. So happy for Askeladd. Now that my hatred is gone and empty. And the thing is, he, it wasn't... Askeladd wasn't really the one to blame for what happened in... Uh, with... Uh, with uh, with Thor's. It's, it's Floki. But I kind of don't want also Thorfinn to go that route again because yeah, I don't know <laughs> but I guess it would be another purpose a strong motivator to do something I guess to push him to work harder because man imagine if imagine if Thorfinn had the same passion that same motivation the same aggression he had when he was a he was with Askelad, and he's doing it in. Wait, he's doing it with farming. He would clear out the trees, maybe in just maybe in weeks or something. <laughs> now that my hatred is gone, I'm empty. I'm totally empty. The only thing I know, the only thing I'm good at, ba is battle. I have no desires. I don't even know how to fix a leaky roof. I'm a man without substance. You've got if you've got. Oh, the old man is listening. If you've got time to run your mouths work oh old master get that roof fixed already it's not the, the only job of yours today watch closely oh fishing damn they're also close to the sea damn oh give it a go we need a, we need big fish big we need fish big we need fish big we need big fish enough for Oh, we need fish big enough for eating. Man, it's hard to get the, the net to cast wide. <laughs> then try harder. We cannot eat meat during Lent. Oh, will you feed an old man nothing but porridge? <laughs> oh, nicely done. It's not working. I haven't caught anything. Do it like this. Like you're spinning it. Don't keep throwing onto the same spot. Change your position as you go. Yes, sir. Just keep learning as you do it. One thing after another. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah, he was listening. Just keep learning as you do it. One thing after another. Being empty means anything can fit inside you. If you want to be reborn. Empty is the best way to be. You listen to us talking? I overheard you. You think I can be reborn? Get to work. Just Don't just stand there. 
maybe he had a similar i think i think ketil might also have been like similar where after the war they felt empty and they found their new sense of purpose through farming <laughs> Brr, it's cold. It's freezing out here. We'll have no snow today, mark my words. This chill is going to make catching fish miserable. It's fun to try, but it's hell on the fingers. Oh man, it's winter. It's going oh, man, it's it's going to be hell. Cutting just trees. <laughs> but what about the crops though? Where I guess maybe time has passed already and they've they've been able to harvest the uh, crops. I guess I'm not I'm not that familiar with wheat if it could survive winter. I want to regain my honor, I really do. Between the two of us, we only ca caught three small fish and some plants yesterday. Right, Thorfinn? Huh? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Thinking again about what the old master said yesterday, I expect yes. Can a man change what he is? What does it take to change? You used to be a warrior, right? Hmm? Yes. And when you say warrior, you mean the fellows carrying axes who go to war, pillage and drink themselves silly. Ga ha ha. Am I right? Um, well, I think you've got the general idea. I didn't have any axes though. Well, no one who looks at you now would ever believe that you were a warrior. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? I am I sure? You should look at your reflection in the water sometime. I'm glad I never ran across you when you were a warrior. I doubt, I doubt I'd ever have made friends with you. In fact, depending on the way we met, you might have killed me. People can change, and I think you're, or, you're already in the process of changing for the better. And, <laughs> and look at the, <laughs> look at the difference, <laughs> man. I guess the, I think the eyes is the biggest difference. I am. Um, that's what I think. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. I'm so happy for, for Thorfinn. Yeah, and this is this is a, I guess this is a great opportunity, and a great, I guess, yeah. I think this is, being a part of here has definitely going to help him, recover what he experienced, and, I guess at the same time mature from it, and take, take use of it and be able to use it so that he could become a much better person even though i feel like he might be going back to battlefield eventually but i think i think i think it's it would it would be a bigger difference if he hasn't this i guess if he has a little bit more maturity as a warrior or i guess it could also be like a different kind i don't know cuz i guess i'm not sure i uh, on how how the author would uh approach the story cuz yeah i guess um even personally i enjoy this moment just this um uh just this story of uh their, their lives but i don't know maybe i guess maybe the their editorial or their or their I guess the, I don't know if if um if they're pressured to do more battles, do more actions, something like that, do more fighting. So, cause usually I don't know if it's it's something like I guess to 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 be able to track track or be able to sell more copies or something like that. They especially with I guess with if you're competing with other manga as well. So usually that's the case that yeah, especially I guess cause. I guess the, the the action. I don't know because I guess Vinland Saga has been, I guess with the introduction is it's, it's been more like introduced as like more on fighting with Vikings. So I I feel like if I think I feel like um, Thorfinn will eventually have to go back to battlefield, but maybe in I think I think uh, I guess the good uh, what I'm hoping is that that even though he will be going back, it wouldn't be the same mentality as before where he's just going to kill and kill uh for the purpose of being able to get his revenge with Askeladd. i feel like 
hopefully he'll be doing it for a much better purpose maybe for exploration or maybe fighting for i don't know maybe maybe defending the farm something like that i don't know but i feel like i feel like uh um uh, i don't know maybe i feel like my 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 prediction is that because remember what thor's want what i guess remember what what Askeled says that be a true warrior be like thor's or something like that i feel like he will be going through that path where he'll be able to achieve the same i guess the same maturity the same strength and not just the strength not just the confidence not just i guess not just i guess he already has the skills he's a he already has the experience he already has the the tenacity as a warrior and i guess in terms of fighting but i think the 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 person the, the personality the maturity as a of of a true warrior i think it's, it's something he also i think that's what he's trying to work on i think that's what he needs to work on or anything it's something he's trying to become i think it's, it's something he's becoming in, into and i think it's because of the people that he's around with right now because remember the people who he who he was with during the the the, the fighting was was vikings but this time around it's people it's it's people who experience war like Einar who has suffered from war and also people who also um feel like had the same like um experience as him of of after leaving the war is that feeling empty inside with i think maybe the old master maybe kettle so i think this people i, I guess even just the because remember he was also somewhat being impressed with farming that is that being able to see that others other other side of life not just fighting be able to appreciate that and i think i think that will change him because yeah i think i remember uh, thurs was also looking for vinland and he was he was so eager to find farmland <laughs> greenland where they could plant their crops so I think even in Vikings, the TV series also had the same motivations that because because of because of where they are currently located, it's 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 almost impossible to plant crops. That's why they're one. They, that's why England was like the most promising place for them is that they were able to plant crops. But I think that's why America was. I guess I, I guess it was like the perfect the perfect place to to plant crops because I guess because of the weather. And I guess because of even I, I think even just the land itself is like the perfect place to plant crops. What's wrong, Einar? Oh damn! It's it's the um, uh, it's the hands. That's dirty. That's dirty. Are we? I guess that's the issue of um I guess of farming is that especially if it's like an open field and you have no one to you, you cannot really guard it twenty four hours unless you have like like fences around it or something. Yeah. It's man, this is this is definitely going to be inferior infuriating if it was you. Especially with how much work you've done to plant crops. And the thing is it's seasonal as well. It's not, it's, I feel like it's not it's you can you cannot always plant crops you would it would it it, it it needs a certain timing as well so now that this has happened it might they might have to wait another year to be able to plant another set of a batch of crops provocation oh this will motivate this might motivate um Thorfinn though all of it i guess not thorfinn i feel like i think i think um Einar knows what happened Einar knows who did it and i uh, i think because of that it might also affect um thorfinn men did this but why wheat is a hardy crop it can it can stand back up on its own if the wind knocks it down they knew what that well so they dug them up from the roots damn 
hey, where are you going? To the farmhands. They're the only ones who would do such a thing. Wait, Einar. We're trolls. We cannot attack free cars. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. <laughs> yeah, you 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 never you never mess with inner crops. Yeah, but I I think I think because of this, um, Thorfinn will have to step in in case Einar becomes in danger. Because uh, as much as I love Einar's, um motivation i guess his 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 uh his fury his his fury here i don't think he could deal with the hands that <laughs> i guess he could he could just have some kind of i guess he could tell the master but yeah settle down we don't have proof they did this they're only going to play dumb about it even with proof if we start start a fight here we're the ones who will be punished punished stop anar we should tell Pater about this first. How can you be how, how can you be so calm, Thorfinn? Do you not understand the situation? We use the most fertile soil on this crop with nothing to show for it, not even the seeds for the next planting. Now we owe the cost of the entire field's worth of seeds. We'll have to borrow again to plant the next crop. But but even worse than that, they're supposed to be farmers. They must know the toil and joy of raising wheat. How could they do it? I think they're not farmers, the the hands. I think they're just they they just happen to be looking for something um to earn with. So that's why they happen to be here. What's wrong with you? They ruined your hour wheat. I have always been on, on the side of the destroyers and the plunderers. I don't have the right to feel indignant, oh, about the farmhands the way you do. If you're going to kill them, then you ought to kill me a hundred times over. Damn. Damn. First be calm. Nothing good's good comes from revenge. Coming from Thorfinn. Coming from Thorfinn himself. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so happy. Man, he has really, yeah. I think I think he has now fully matured. First, be calm. Nothing good comes from revenge. Thorfinn said that. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. I see. This is terrible. And you didn't see it being wrecked. No. Leave it as it is until we've done a full examination. There might be clues left behind as to who was responsible. You have any ideas about the culprit? The farmhands. I see. I will report to the master. Leave this to me. I certainly had my share of trouble when I was a slave. I often found myself wondering who those who tormented and provoked me would bother with such a pointless, profitless act. Everywhere there, there are those who unjustly discriminate, but there are also a few who do not. Do not lose heart, you two. Yeah. I hear that Arnhide is the f master's favorite at home. Oh, we learned that. Oh, that's I guess that added to his 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 fury. She and the master do not have an arrangement like us. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Or we can buy our freedom through work. He has no intention of letting her go. She seemed to have given up on the idea. Also, oh, oh, uh, yeah, I guess I forgot that. Um. Um, Thorfinn asked, talk, uh, told um, Einar to ask her about about her freedom, or I guess her options of being able to buy her freedom. If they like you, they won't let you go. If they hate you, they tear you down like this. I can't stand being a slave. Ha ha ha. Let's take another route, Einar. Einar, no. We have no reason to skulk about Oh, speak of the devil. Yo, what's wrong? You look down in the dumps. Hold it in, Einar. Einar, don't. What? 
move it. It was you. You ruined our field. Pardon? What do you mean? Anar. Your little field was ransacked? Well, don't be too on too down about it. Wheat grown by slaves would be too filthy and ragged to eat. <laughs> that triggered something. Wheat grown by slaves would be too filthy and ranked to eat anyway. Damn. <laughs> you went you you awaken the you awaken the battle side of uh <laughs> of Thorfinn. Man Man, why why does Thorfinn look more like Askelad than Thor's? <laughs> That's what I'm curious about. He looks more like he looks more like Askelad here. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than Thor, he's more like the son of Ask. I guess he's pretty much like the son of Ask, lad. And he also has like kind of blonde hair, though. So he kind of <laughs> he would be he would be more uh, he would be more recognized as Ask, son rather than Thor's son. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, he lost control. Oh shit! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a punch. I think you might have broken his jaw. You little bastard, miserable slaves. I'll kill you. Oh, no. So what if we're slaves? Shut your mouth. Enough squalling. Come and get some. No, you idiot. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> his reflexes are working. The uh... oh no, he was he hit Thorfinn. Damn, in the back of the head. But this could be dangerous because Thorfinn might they they might force Thorfinn to be like the same as before. He might he might he might instinctively try to kill them. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Die, slave. Uh, uh. Stop, Einar. You, why are you? Father, what is father saying? Oh, no, I'm falling. Oh, dream. Damn. The dream. Bleh. Huh? Oh, it's his home. Ah, sheesh. It was all dream. Man, that was scary. Ah, what a nightmare. I had to watch father get killed. Oh, he's back to the same dream as before. Then I went through countless battles and fought a giant ogre of a man. <laughs> to top it all off, I ended up as a slave. Talk about a bad joke. Ah, thank goodness I'm at peace. Damn. Einar. I hope Einar is still okay. I guess at the good thing is that they, do, they don't have weapons. Because I think if they do, they could have just killed, tried to kill them. Del is up with him. We won't, he won't, we won't go down. Just fall down on her ass already. Yeah. Man. Yeah, but Einar is pretty tough though. I guess I didn't give him too much credit. <laughs> I guess, I guess... Yeah, they've worked hard. They've they've cut trees. They've they've they're definitely pretty much tough on their 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 physical uh, bodies alone. What's wrong? Is that the best you've got? Let's keep going. Let's find out once and for all if we're really inferior to you. It's, this is ridiculous. Can you stand? Uh, forget it. Enough. You're in it for now. You're you're in for it now. When they found out you have you slaves have acted out out like this, there'll be no half measures. <laughs> we won. Oh, Thor's father, listen to this. I just had the most bizarre dream. I smell blood. 
Who did you kill with those swords? Oh. Oh, whoa, what is this? I told you to only use them to protect herself. Wait, no, father. Uh, father, father, help, father. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. There were so many things I should have thought you. And now you understand, Thorfinn. Yeah, I guess I guess the, the thing that Thoris has been suffering as well. You have no enemies. No one has any enemies. There is no one here that you must hurt. There wasn't. Uh, damn, so that was the dream. Damn, that's a crazy dream. And he's trying to hold on. Damn. What is this place? Valhalla? Man, that was short. Man, I guess it's 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 more like action. Action packed. Man. Man, this is intense. <laughs> Man, yeah. The 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 corpses of the people that Thoris has killed and yeah, I think that I think that's what what Thorfinn doesn't realize it. I guess during when he was still young. Is that eventually it will come back to it will hunt you. All the people because it's not something that something that they they would definitely be able to I guess I guess it depends on the person, but I think normally people would never be able to live with that e that easily be able to especially the conscience of thinking about all the people that you because because those people also had families like they also had like people that who cares about them they also have hopes and dreams so that's also that that i guess that is it's the conscious guilt that is going to be also going back and forth toward your mind towards your mind At the same time it's going to mess you up as a person and i think that's that's what dragging thorfinn down but i think I, the good thing is that he has it's somewhat has he has been able to uh, somewhat change from that. And I think right now he's just trying to... I guess this I guess this is more like symbolism of that. Um, he's, he's still trying to hold on to be able to go back to... I guess to his home. I guess he's his... To, to the... To, I guess to, to the point where he wouldn't have to fight anymore. Where he wouldn't have to kill anymore. But I think the I don't know I feel like the scenario might will might force him to do it again, so I guess that's one of the sad thing I'm worried about is that yeah and I guess then in him saying this is is this Valhalla <laughs> is this what I don't think this is what how they imagined Valhalla would look like yeah man this is crazy. Man, look at the the details. It's like it somewhat reminds me of Pirates of Caribbean, <laughs> like zombies still fighting. Yeah, and that's all the that's all that they do. They, they keep on fighting, fighting, and fighting for eternity. <laughs> and uh, I think the difference with Thorfinn is he never really. I think he never enjoyed fight. He never enjoyed killing. It's just that he needed to do it. It's like his job. It's like it's it's the only condition where um, Askelad will give him the opportunity of having that revenge, of having that duel. And I think uh, that's that's the reason he had that strong motivation of killing those soldiers. I guess I don't think he ever killed. I guess that another thing is that I don't think he ever killed um any children or women i guess but i guess that's not, that's, that's not the point i guess even though he didn't do it he was still a part of that he was still a part of the destruction of the pillaging and he helped he helped he helped it happen as well and that's why i think that's why he's also seeing the the same woman from before is that yeah and 
and and the good thing is that he he knows it he re, he realized it he 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 knew what he did um he he has regret of what he has done and i think that's why that's why i guess that's why i think the thorfin right now um is i think he is is definitely a, a different thorfin that we have met before i guess the the only thing is that i think instinctively his his uh his reflexes as a warrior it just when i guess it's it's somewhat threatened like what snake did it will eventually like activate it's like it's like um yeah it's, it's like instincts it's like reflect automatic reflexes that i think it would hard it would be hard to to be able to take from him and but i think it's also not that a bad of a thing and i guess until <laughs> he might accidentally kill someone but i don't know i feel like he might be able to eventually control that and uh but yeah i, I really like where this is going with his character and i guess what i hope him to be like is something like similar with kenshin roni kenshin or maybe it's just just like thor's or where he will choose his own fights fights where he needs to to fight because it's for uh, it's for helping other people to protect people and yeah i guess thor's did say that never fought fight unless you have to protect yourself and no what don't ever treat anyone as any other people as enemies you have no enemies so yeah i guess i think that's something he he still remembers and i think it's something he will eventually be able to live by with so the words of uh, thor so yeah man man this just keeps getting better and better and i think yeah i guess i kind of had an expectation that this might go this route where the hands will definitely mess up their their crops their what they're trying to do and trying maybe try to set them up and ruin them their their uh reputation with kettle and and even though we've seen how much of an, a nice person kettle is i think the the problem is that he still also need to deal with it according to the situation where if he has no ch other if if the if if uh if he has to do the do some kind of punishment he will have to do it unless there's a good reasoning of not being able to do it and the only the problem is that the people that's around him um the only one i guess who could be reasonable and who has the same um empathy or sympathy or some kind of kindness is patel and the thing is not everyone respects patel as like a free man he, they still somewhat consider him as like a slave so yeah and i think uh maybe the old man i don't know but i guess we'll see but especially with how much the old man favors thorfinn and einar i think that might also come into play eventually maybe the old man has some kind of evidence where he had where he saw the the hands um destroying their crops because i think i think the old man is so inter invested or interested in them that he might sell he might he might take his time to look at their crops and maybe just check it out maybe criticize a little bit with, <laughs> with their style of farming yeah I, I feel like i feel like the, the old master will come into play uh with their situation because i think um even though kettle likes them and somewhat is very kind and generous i think because of the hand and maybe it will be like he will be forced into doing something again that he doesn't want to do so yeah and yeah and also with arnheide if i <laughs> i guess i, I kind of suspected that it also that might be the case um with with uh with uh with arnheide that but yeah um but i think i feel like there's still a chance with uh with Einar eventually, but I guess it it might be at the cost where they have to run away, and uh, I don't know if Ironhide will be willing to do that. Um, especially if you're a slave, I think if you run away as a slave, um, you will be forever 
you, you will you, i guess the the thing is that i guess she never really had the option of being able to buy her own freedom as well so i guess yeah i guess we'll see but all i hope is that anar will be able to find at least a happy ending his own happiness uh and even in also thorfinn as well and b for thorfinn to be able to go back home and i hope maybe thorfinn will be able to go back home with anar maybe bring along <laughs> ironhide I, I don't know maybe ironhide is already a lost lost cause for anar i feel like anar and um uh, and thorfinn is like their brothers for life now like their best buddies now so all I could hope is that they'll be stuck together. <laughs> and uh, I really like Anar. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully they could, we could go through a journey. with. Maybe they would be like, the, the that would be their stories. That they'd be like explorers going to... Oh man, man, oh man, I just realized. Um, Thorfinn. I feel like Thorfinn will eventually go to Vinland, reach Vinland. And... Who's the perfect person to do farming? It's Einar. <laughs> and him and Einar would be perfect for farming in in Vinland in America. So yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping. I guess that's the that's the optimistic <laughs> kind of point of view of seeing things. But if uh but if it comes down to the worst that they might kill Aymar, man, it's going to be ah, man, it's going to be another painful painful uh, experience because man Einar I think I guess they've because they've somewhat set up Einar to be like the new character <laughs> that we're going along that we're seeing the perspective we're seeing his his internal thoughts and then we then, and then we go then we see we see the familiar characters again with Thorfinn Kanut and and Thorkel and yeah I, I, I've really gro grown so uh f fondly with uh I guess we just with the dynamic of uh, Einar, Einar and Thorfinn. Because I think Einar has also somewhat given Thorfinn some kind of someone who he'll be able to confide with, someone who could he talk with. And, uh, and also, I guess Einar is like the, 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 the tool, I guess it's the, not the tool, but the, the, the one that where we saw Thorfinn's maturity. Cause, uh, cause, yeah. Remember what he said is that rev nothing comes good out of revenge. So man, <laughs> that was such a man amazing moment. So that's all I could say in this read through. Let me know what you think about it. Any feedback in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the reaction. Subscribe for updates. If you want to watch my reaction to the next episode, uh, next chapter is available for early access. So check out the link in the description down below. It's available on my Patreon and also. Shout out to my patrons for supporting this channel. And thank you for watching. See you in my next reaction or read through or video. Have a great day. Goodbye.